Okay, post-trib moment number 41. Here we have another total admission of being a false prophet. And he doesn't even realize what he's saying. Check this beauty out. Now those who believe in a pre-tribulation rapture are expecting Jesus Christ to show up at any moment. That's right, we sure are. And that's the popular teaching that's out there. If you go to the Christian bookstore, if you look at mainstream evangelical Christianity. Okay, uh, here again he does guilt by association. The modern apostate church are predominantly lost because they've never repented. They have never become new creatures in Christ Jesus. They are conformed to the world. I know many of these modern Christians. I myself used to be one. Okay they are lost they are not saved and the fact that they believe in the rapture doesn't prove anything okay they prove they believe in it for the wrong reason and most of them are not going to be raptured well let's continue and by the way I've preached on that uh, I'm not going to go there but right now but Revelation chapter 3 talking about the Laodicean church it says that they are spewed out of the mouth of God I believe that those Laodicean type Christians are in the stomach but not part of the body of the Lord. And at the rapture, they're going to be spewed out. I've talked about that in other studies. You can hear my preaching on that if you want to. That's the teaching that's out there. Jesus Christ can come back at any moment. Well, if you read the Bible, though, it's very clear that there's an imposter who's coming first known as the Antichrist. No, oh, now, just hold on a second here. No, it isn't. You see, because Jesus Christ at the rapture, the pre-tribulation rapture, he's not coming to the earth. We go up and meet him in the clouds. Read the passages about the rapture. Jesus does not come and touch down on the earth and then we go back up with him or something. He catches us up. So no, the rapture is not teaching that Jesus Christ is coming back. That's not what the Bible teaches. He's going to claim to be Jesus Christ. Sure, the Antichrist will claim to be Jesus Christ. And so, if you stop and think about it, those who believe in a post-trib rapture are expecting the Antichrist to come, claiming to be Jesus, and then Jesus shows up afterward. He comes in the clouds. The real Jesus comes afterward in the clouds. The trumpet sounds were caught up to be with him at the rapture. Those who believe in a pre-trib rapture are expecting Jesus to come at any moment. But who's really coming at any moment? According to the Bible the Antichrist. Uh-oh. Well, let me show you the admission of a modern Christian according to uh, silly Steve Anderson's little belief system here. Okay, here we are in 2 Timothy chapter 4, Paul writing. He says, For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up a, for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. Now look at this. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love the appearing of the Antichrist. Is that what it says? No, it says, love his appearing. Um, wait a second. Jesus Christ was looking for the appearing of Jesus. I'm sorry, Paul was looking for the appearing of Jesus Christ. In other words, Paul was expecting Jesus and not the Antichrist? Well, I guess according to Steve Anderson here, then Paul would have been a, a modern Christian. Hmm. So in other words, one of the crowns of reward, a crown of righteousness, comes to those who love his appearing. Hmm. So we should be looking for Jesus Christ and not the Antichrist. And I've said this to these post-trib thieves before. I said, you're looking for, for the Antichrist. You're not looking for Jesus Christ. And they, oh, that's not true. That's not true. Right here, he just admitted it. He just told you that that's exactly what he's doing. But let's continue here. This, you aren't going to believe some of this, more of this nonsense. And who is he going to be claiming to be? Jesus. And who has mainstream Christianity been taught to expect to come at any moment? Jesus. Who's really coming at any moment? Uh, Jesus is coming at any moment. Paul looked for Jesus Christ. The Antichrist. Who's the Antichrist claiming to be? Jesus. Now, if you can't see the deception there, if you can't see that obviously this is the devil's plan 
to get people to think that the Antichrist is Jesus. I don't know what to tell you. It's pretty obvious. The Antichrist, uh, I'm sorry, the devil wants us to believe that Jesus is coming at any moment. Because then... Oh, the devil wants us to believe that Jesus is coming at any moment? Well, then I guess Paul is the devil. Right there. The crown of righteousness. The Lord, the righteous judge, gives Paul at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Jesus Christ's appearing is what is next on the prophetic time chart. And he's not coming in the sense of coming and touching down on the ground. We're being called up together to meet him. But Steve Anderson apparently doesn't understand that. See, if you follow this loser right here, you will not get the crown of righteousness because you are looking for the Antichrist. You're not looking for Jesus Christ. And when the rapture actually hits, if you are really truly saved, then you will not get the crown of righteousness. This lying hypocrite right here will take away your crown. You will lose a crown of reward because of him. Why? You're not looking for Jesus Christ. You're looking for the Antichrist. Let's watch a little bit more here. When the Antichrist shows up, people will believe that he's Jesus. That's who he's claiming to be. Now, I will say this. I do not believe that any saved person will fall for the Antichrist. And I realize there yeah. are many people who are saved who've been lied to and taught this pre-trib rapture doctrine. And so I'm not saying that people who are pre-trib, who are, who are actually saved, are going to fall for the Antichrist and think he's the second coming of Christ. But I am saying that mainstream evangelical Christianity, most of which are not saved, will fall for it. And that's the deception that's being used. I Okay, let me just stop there for a minute. Again, he's showing his true lies here. He's contradicting himself. This liar teaches that salvation is simply believe and receive. He's teaching that there's no repentance connected to salvation. All right, that which is itself a false gospel. That easy believism thing is a false gospel. It is a satanic heresy. But here he goes and he says that, that most modern Christians are lost. But wait a second. If they believe and receive, then they're saved according to this liar. See, he's a hypocrite. And I just wanted to play that little bit there yet, just to show you that this man is a liar. Total liar. 